Yeah, that little bit about making fun of the disabled is fake news. The incident in question was more of a personal quirk than anything else. President Trump acted on the pandemic before any of the Democrats. Only when the narrative fell apart did he start to reject it. Remember, only Democrats can deny the results of an election. Impeached and convicted are relative terms based on who is making the convictions. Finally, there is not one shred of reliable evidence whatsoever that any insurrection was incited by President Trump. Now, we could talk about the personal flaws of the Democrats. When did the Republicans order that the aid go to all of the illegals? When did the Republicans order a mere $750? check? When did the Republicans block aid from private citizens? When did the Republicans send in the Black Hawk helicopter? Is there any evidence of racism whatsoever? Nope. Just America first. Just as South Africa should put South Africa first. Is there any evidence of fascism? A fascist would have shut down CNN and The View. A fascist would have refused to leave office. Trump and Musk were loved by the liberal media for years. Until they suddenly were not. Is there even a tiny shred of evidence for Mr. Rawls' claim? We see him at his rallies with all of his faculties, whereas Brandon can barely put a sentence together. President Trump just keeps getting stronger. Let me break Mr. Bowling's gibberish down a bit. As long as you are not breaking into a country illegally, you have nothing to worry about. And if you are too ignorant to figure out that you are a man, stay out of the women's locker room. Actually, black business owners are admitting that President Trump's economy made it better for them. No one is trying to control a woman's body. That is such a load of hogwash. Even if you count the woman who died from a pill meant to kill her babies. Is there any evidence that he took out people who disagreed with him? I mean, he did leave office willingly, despite the fake news about a coup. I see Mr. Bowling is also adding imaginary climate change to this. And imaginary weapons of war. It would make sense. This whole comic has been imagination. Mr. Bowling just loves his gibberish. So now an entire industry is working to change the weather. And to what end exactly? Either way, spewing out plant food that helps plants to grow taller and greener is the most dangerous thing that anyone can do. I have said it before, and I will say it again. How Hamas was being dealt with did not technically follow just war. Even if they had been warning civilians to get out, even if the missile launchers are located in hospitals, schools, and playgrounds, there comes a time to deal with terrorists, especially those that refuse to even recognize your right to exist. Today's cartoon is brought to you by the Hillary Clinton campaign. Even if it was a lie back then, there is no reason to call it fake news today. Again, like the money that was given to all of these illegals, instead of being set aside for actual Americans. Again, like the Republican check for $750. Again, like the aid that was being blocked by FEMA. Again, like the Black Hawk helicopter. So what lies are we talking about again? Completely inaccurate. The Georgia State Election Board is just ensuring that the votes are safe before being put in the box. And just because some Democrat labeled the illegal votes democracy does not make them legal. Yes, what did Western culture ever do for these people? Except for the salvation of souls through Christ? Land ownership that keeps someone from taking your property as spoils of war? Written language and books? Metalworking and agricultural tools? Ranching with livestock rather than migratory hunting? Even the wheel? And many other things. In short, while he was not perfect, name one historical figure that was, the people traded the land for furs even if they did not understand property rights. 